Welcome back, ladies, gents, femmes, and thems. My name is Katsy the DeVille, and this is my weekly review of shows and movies on my major streaming platforms and whether or not it's worth a subscription or a free trial. This week is Bel Air, the reboot rewrite of the French Prince of Bel Air with Will Smith. This is the grittier, darker, more realistic, and less comedic relief version. Let me be clear to start with it. Fresh Prince had its moments, was intense, hit on hard and heavy topics. It was a show that smoothed out to be more palatable for what TV was required to be. And the new light on this new show is more deeply rooted in the black experience that shows the messiness of life. It doesn't matter if you come from the rough streets of Philly or the stuck-up rich hood of Bel Air. People have it hard all the way around. I do want to say that I haven't finished the season yet, so the ending, I cannot say what I think about it, but I will say that the show is incredibly triggering, specifically as a black person, but it is an incredibly powerful story. The show more about the incident that happened that had brought Will to California. Not only do you see the aftermath, triggering Will's PTSD, and you get to see more of the conflict between him and his homeboy Trey, you get a colorful look in the life of his cousins, aunt, and uncle. Carlton is a mess. From the first moment, you see a young man with anger issues and a bad attitude. The volatile relationship between him and his cousins spices up the show at every interaction, from girls to how Carlton is confronted to being the good black man at school, to him allowing his non-black counterpart's bad behavior. Whereas Aunt Viv is the one bringing the balance to the show. Being from the streets of Philly, but acclimated to the lavish lifestyle of being a wealthy lawman's wife, she mediates the peace in the household for her nephew. Something I really do love about this show, though, is that you get something relatable with every character. Uncle Phil trying to find his peace with his old schoolmates, the happiness of his house, his campaign for district attorney, reconnecting with his wife, and seeing how much he can depend on Jeffrey. For Vivian, though, you see her struggles, for her following her passions, being a mother of a feisty family, and being a woman who wants to feel connected to her husband, while feeling fully autonomous and not completely dependent on him. There was even a part of the story where I was so worried about it being forced writing for her, and I was terrified of the outcome, when not matching her actions, but so far, I've been very pleased with all of her interactions as well. Ashley, the youngest cousin, is a budding young lady exploring who she is. Her subplot is a lot less of a spotlight, and she is actively vanishing from the story in the household. And I completely understand laws protecting youth from not having too much screen time, but I was disappointed that they didn't at least call up to her, mention her, or have a stand in, in the background just to imply that she lives in the house outside of her moments. And for me, the most relatable, despite me feeling like I resonate with everyone, is going to be Hillary, no longer a vapid socialite who looks to daddy for money and hardly has a personality, you get a vibrant and sophisticated woman, a strong black woman who is an influencer online, she's an accomplished chef and her community loves her strength, beauty, integrity to being authentic as along with her skills in the kitchen. She struggles with finding her footing on platforms to be a self-sufficient content creator because she wants to be more than just the token black person. She doesn't want to dilute herself to be accepted by white viewers and audiences. Without getting more into the story, I want to say that this story is incredible. I love it. I appreciate the duality. I know that the show and movies about black experience is one of the primary content that Hollywood tends to allow compared to the constant backlash about having black casting into roles that literally have no difference on the story or plotline in regards to skin tone. I feel like it's a 
Breath of fresh air on the Black experience, though, because it's not just the hood, it's not just the rough streets, it's tackling what it's like to be Black in an affluent, well-educated, money-having part of the country, and the different struggles that you might see there. But without further ado, let's talk final thoughts. For a believable storyline, realistic, relatable characters. Real topics of discussion that further makes you think. Heavy content every episode making a little hard to binge. And it's part of the black experience genre. I would give this show a 10 out of 10. It's totally worth the subscription and the trial, and I look forward to seeing the rest of the show along with the seasons that they produce in the future. And so today's art piece was for a VTuber. If you would like to also consider being a VTuber, whether you're a human, furry, monster, or other, consider discussing with me either via Twitter or Discord on how to get started on being a VTuber today. Thank you so much for the VTuber commission. And thank you so much for our three Patreons. Uh, you will be getting early access to our videos every week from here on out as I'm rolling them out before our Friday comes around. Thank you so much for anybody buying Kofi's or commissioning me for art. You help make this possible and you make it possible for me to do exactly what I love to do, which is bringing more content to you. But that's all I have to say for today. Stay happy, healthy, hydrated, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!